The winner of this Democratic primary will most likely become mayor. That's because New York is a left-leaning city. Note that the actual mayoral election is not until November. Well, the city's been through a lot in the past year, and New Yorkers are looking for someone who can help it recover from the coronavirus pandemic. Rebuilding in a more equitable way has been a major theme, but it's a spike in shootings that has really swung the debate in recent weeks, propelling a black former police officer, Eric Adams, to the top of the polls here. Now, this year, voters uh, will rank their choices from one to five, and that has led two of the leading candidates, uh, both of them centrists, to join forces. Tech entrepreneur Andrew Yang, who uh, was leading the polls until recently, racing around the city in his campaign van, uh, which is emblazoned with his face and has been dubbed the Yangatron, uh, has joined forces with former sanitation commissioner Catherine Garcia. Uh, she was endorsed by the New York Times. Now, Yang's called on his followers to rank her second in their ballots. Garcia is not returning the favour. She says that she's simply getting out the vote. Well, frontrunner Adams has called that alliance racist, uh, without any evidence to support that claim. Uh, leading progressive candidate Maya Wiley, who's black as well, and who served as counsel to current mayor Bill de Blasio, has condemned Adams' comments. After eight years of de Blasio, who's considered a progressive, uh, many New Yorkers, both on the left and the right of the Democratic Party, are disappointed. And so it looks as though they might be ready to give a centrist candidate a chance as mayor of New York City. Ranked choice voting could still make for a surprise outcome, and in any case, it could be weeks before we know who has won the Democratic race for mayor.